There is a critical need for more affordable housing in the tri-state. The lack of options is forcing more families into homelessness. And the shelters just can't keep up. WCPO 9 News reporter Taylor Nimmo gives us a closer look at the real impact it's having on families right here in the tri-state. A lack of affordable housing coupled with homeless shelters at full capacity. It's created the perfect storm. Many people in need of housing with no place to go. Bethany House opened the doors to a new homeless shelter on Reading Road in September. Even though we grew um, coming into this location, there has there still is not enough housing for our families. Nowhere near enough. Bethany House serves only 14% of families that call in need of emergency shelter. So that means that over 80% of families are not being served within our communities because the shelters do not have the capacity. Bethany House's goal is to move families from its homeless shelter and into affordable housing in under 55 days. Recently, families have been forced to stay longer. They cannot find an affordable unit for their families. The shortage is having a real impact on tri-state families. Carrie Simon moved into Bethany House last October with her 20-year-old son who lives with disabilities. They've now been at Bethany House for more than 200 days. I just wanted to get out of here because I've been here a long time. <laughs> Simon's case is uniquely challenging. She has a son um, that has disabilities. She has a pet, but her pet is needed for her son. So it, you know, it makes it very difficult for her to find housing. Because I was worried about that. I'm like, we can't lose the dog because he actually um, sniffs out when my son has a seizure. Another shelter is currently caring for Simon's dog. Simon's son recently had a seizure. And we had one when we were here, so we had a little setback, but we're doing better and we're getting him there. It's rough, but we made it this far. We're gonna keep trucking. Simon is not alone. Glover says an additional 40,000 affordable housing units are needed in our community to be able to meet the demand. Simon's situation is looking up. She found a place to live. Now she's just finalizing some paperwork before she'll be handed the keys to her new home. Reporting from Bond Hill, Taylor Nimmo, WCPO 9 News.